Cartier. My name is James Patton, and today I'm joined by Evan Gappelberg, CEO of Nextech3D.ai. They trade on the OTCQX on the ticker NEXCF, CSE on the ticker NTAR, and the FSE under the ticker 1SS. Evan, it's great to see you again. Great to see you in 2024, James. So Nextech has been starting 2024 off strong with some exciting news. But before we get to that, uh, you know, perhaps we could start with a recap of developments from 2023 to refresh our audience. Sure. So we spent uh, 2023 building our AI tech team, uh, which uh, it, it is built, and, and that's you know part of today's news. Uh, we also have been uh, expanding our reach in terms of our 3D modeling business. Uh, we've uh, landed some quite significant accounts across the e-com ecosystem. Uh, you know, we have the biggest names in the business that we're supplying uh, 3D models to. We also have uh, expanded our reach with our spatial computing platform, uh, which we own 49% uh, of. It was a spin out. Uh, it's a standalone public company called ARWAY, symbols A-R-W-Y-F in the U.S., A-R-W-Y in the U.S. And that company is going to become very, very valuable, in my opinion, as Apple rolls out its Vision Pro glasses. We purposely built that platform uh, really three years ahead of Apple's rumored AR glasses going all the way back uh, to 2020. And uh, now the technology is built and we have a spatial computing platform that offers indoor navigation and out of the box uh, augmented reality experiences that you could see and it's already integrated with Apple's Vision Pro. So that's quite a big deal for us. We're super excited about 2024 because we think it's gonna be the year of not just AI, which 2023 really was the beginning of, but the year of spatial computing, which is not many people's brains today, but I think uh, for investors, keep your eye on the ball, 2024 is going to be the year, not just of AI, but space, of spatial computing. And it's because Apple, the most valuable technology company, most valuable company on the planet is putting their muscle and their full weight behind spatial computing glasses, basically augmented reality, uh, glasses called the Vision Pro and uh, ARWay, one of our uh, companies in our portfolio, is already integrated and part of that ecosystem. So that's super exciting for us. And uh, then, of course, we also launched uh, uh, an AI ad network in our live events platform, which, again, speaks to uh, really next text push into AI. We are a pure play AI company with a portfolio of technologies, all purpose built with this idea that AI is the next big thing, 3D modeling is the next big thing, and augmented reality slash spatial computing. And we've been kind of pounding the table about this, James, for the last five years. It's now coming to pass. All of the, the investment, and we've, we've invested uh, about $25 million uh, in the tech over the over these years, all of that is going to play out and I think pay off big time for our shareholders in 2024. Thanks, Evan. I appreciate you giving us a, a recap uh, of, of all those companies. And, and it's certainly been an exciting 2023. Uh, just bring you back to today's news. Uh, you know, you launched the uh, 3D model search engine, which is designed to speed up and scale up operations for 3D modeling. Uh, and I think this is a recurring theme we've seen with your know, Nextech's product development that focus on uh, removing barriers and, and allowing companies to scale and, and increase you know, that capacity to service those big clients like Amazon where uh, efficiency is, is of utmost importance. Uh, could you tell us maybe what was the problem that you're solving for with the launch of this uh, search platform? Sure. So uh, if you look at 2023, which we, we just uh, spoke about, you know, 2023 was a year of growth for our business where we clocked in with about 100% uh, revenue growth. Uh, we should be uh, finishing 2023 with around 5 million 
in revenue, which is about a 100% increase over 2022. But the real story, James, is as you mentioned, this, this AI uh, breakthrough that we announced today, where we now have our very own AI-powered search engine, which is going to scale the production of 3D models for uh, next tech. And the, the point of building that is, you know, as you um, get into building 3D models for uh, big companies, um, you know, marketplaces, you like Amazon and, and others, you end up realizing that, you know, your, your limitations are, uh, you know, speed. How, how fast can you make a 3D model? And it used to be when I first started uh, making 3D models five years ago, it would take us a week or two to make a single 3D model. We're now able to make 3D models in less than an hour, so minutes. And with this breakthrough in technology, it's going to be even less time or even faster, meaning Right now, we have a library of hundreds of thousands of 3D parts and, and meshes, as they're known. And basically, we're able to show the AI, our AI search engine, a picture, just a picture. And the computer vision goes into our library and finds the closest match to that picture, the closest match, meaning a 3D model that we've already made that's in our library, and it populates that for the artist on screen so that they can choose. There'll be three different options for them to choose from. And ultimately that puts the 3D artist on the 50 yard line where they're not making a 3D model from scratch anymore. They're using the existing parts from our library of 3D models uh, to be able to accelerate the production, ultimately increasing productivity, reducing cost, uh, and that allows us to scale. And the only reason that's possible is because the AI search engine is just that good. If you think of Google, Google search engine dominates, why? Not because there's no alternatives. I mean, you could search on Yahoo, you can search on uh, Bing or, or a host of other search engines. But the problem is, is that when you do that, you often get irrelevant responses, right? That's not accurate. Our AI search engine is extremely, extremely accurate. So that when you're searching off of a picture for let's say a lamp, it's going to find you lamps that look exactly like and it might even be that exact same lamp that you're that the 3D modeler is trying to uh, create. So our search engine is hyper accurate and lightning fast. It happens in literally seconds, and it's and it's super accurate. And so those two things combined uh, make for a very very powerful piece of technology. And I would just add, James, it's not just usable for 3D models. This search engine can be used across all of our businesses, including the spatial maps. So we're gonna be using it and leveraging the same AI technology throughout all of our businesses. And really, we could not have done this in uh, 2022. Uh, we started building this in 2023, uh, and we do expect to, uh, to be patenting this technology and announcing some updates on how fast and how accurate it really is and what kind of productivity enhancements that, that we're seeing on the front line with the artists in production. We should be able to announce that uh, in the near term. Yeah, I mean, it's certainly a, a compelling uh, story in terms of the value proposition for how this could be a massive help to anyone who's looking to uh, you know, produce a 3D model. The idea of not starting from scratch and, and having an accurate search for uh, you know, an image that, that you're uploading or, or using for the, uh, the search platform. Just looking ahead, you know, you, you mentioned we might get some updates soon in terms of, uh, you know, some of the use cases or efficiency gains. Uh, you know, what comes next for Next Tech and why should people be paying attention? 
So we are just getting started um, in multiple mega trends. AI and 3D modeling for e-commerce is a massive, massive opportunity. Amazon alone has 300 million products on their platform that need to be converted to 3D. If you add in, you know, Walmart and Target. Um, and every, every product that's ever really been ma manufactured, every product that's being manufactured today, and every product that's going to be manufactured in the future, they're all going to have a digital twin or 3D model. And Next Tech is really the only publicly traded 3D model, pure play, that you can invest in. If you look at our valuation, I think our market cap's around $20 million. We're clocking in with $5 million in revenue, 100% growth year over year. And that's not going to stop. I mean, my my uh, feeling is that we're at the base of the mountain and we're just starting to climb and we're starting to see the growth curve really start to bend up uh, where we're going to see some exponential growth in 2024 and beyond in the 3D modeling business. When you step away and you start thinking about next tech uh, and our valuation, uh, I think we're very undervalued just based upon that alone. But if you look at our portfolio of companies uh, that we've developed and spun out, uh, as I mentioned, we also own uh, 13 million shares or 49% of ARWay, which is a spatial computing platform. And that is going to ride the spatial computing wave, which Apple is leading with uh, these AR glasses, which are about to go public. They're about to uh, be launched. And when Apple does a launch, um, it's unlike any other experience that anyone can have on the planet. <laughs> There's a line out the door. Uh, everybody wants a pair or, you know, it used to be the phone, but the glasses are going to replace the phone. You're basically going to be looking around your room and you'll be like living inside of a movie. Uh, everything's going to be um, interactive. Uh, it, it, it's actually uh, probably, it, it's the most exciting thing, James, that I think has happened in our lives. And it's taken Apple about a decade to build these glasses. This is like a serious piece of, of hardware. I think it has 14 cameras or more uh, built into these glasses. I mean, as you can tell, I'm very, very excited, just personally on a personal level to get my hands on a pair. Uh, actually, we have a pair because we're part of their developer program, but the pair is up in Canada uh, with my team. <laughs> I, gotta get, I gotta get them to send it to me. But the bottom line is when you look at valuation, our market cap of 20 million, in my view, uh, could go up uh, quite significantly from here uh, we are already generating revenue, but I think our revenue stream is going to start to turn into a flood uh, and, and a torrent over the next uh, you know, 18 to 24 months. Well, Evan, looking forward to uh, more updates from the company over the, uh, the coming months and, and the rest of the year, and, and especially with big updates on the way and, and people finally getting their hands on the uh, Apple headsets. So uh, appreciate